let's begin, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to jump into a segment we like to call Anatomy of a Verse. And so this week, we're going to tackle the song Ghost in a Cell. The cover art was inspired by the legendary anime called Ghost in the Shell. The music for this particular track, the instrumental, was inspired by the song from Ghost in the Shell, which plays in the intro, and it's called Making of a Cyborg. Right now, we're going to break down the lyrics, go through the hook and both verses, give you some more background on the song, all of that good stuff. All right, let's go ahead and drive it. My gallery is haunted by these ghosts in my cell. They live on in my memories, but it's no sin to death. I'm scared to disappear every time I scream black. I hope they're in the cloud and they repent it for their actions. But I know you're still here. I feel you with me. My cup running over with spirits until it's empty. The body is a host and the host is a shell. But now you're suited for glory. Adios and farewell. Those opening lyrics for the chorus, the goal is to let you know that this song is talking about loved ones that I've lost. Part of how I hold on to their memory is pictures that are in my gallery, music that's in my phone, video footage that I've captured and all of these different things. Part of having memories saved on a device like this that's kind of scary is that when your phone dies, right, or you lose your phone, no Wi-Fi connection and stuff and maybe you just save something on your phone and you're hoping that it's backed up in the cloud in case something happens to your phone. These are real fears of mine and when I think of certain people's numbers who I just can't delete, this is something I think about a lot. Wish you were here to hear what I'm writing that last time it was your brother that I was writing about. Out the gate. Last time it was your brother that I was writing about. For those who didn't know, this song is Wish You Were Here Part 2. Wish You Were Here is a song from The Past Is Always Present In The Future, which also features Stephanie Gale. And um, when I wrote this, I had my own thoughts of how I wanted to do this. And then I heard Jay Electronica's song, which is a similar topic, which almost made me not do this song. But these emotions and these experiences are not exclusive to one person. We share this similar experience of, you know, not being able to let go of these messages, these photos and all this stuff in the phone. So this first verse, this whole first verse is dedicated to my Uncle George. Uh, rest in peace to him. Was in the stool with me, sat in the chair, I'm sitting in. Leaning toward the monitor, the eyes closed while you listen. Then the how I missed your brother, my father, your eyes were glistening. Never seen either one of you cry. Now I was witnessing glitches in the matrix breaking through your conditioning. Thick and skin from life on these streets and years of imprisonment. Literally, this studio that I'm sitting in right now is where I was sitting with my Uncle George when I played him. Wish You Were Here, which was dedicated to his brother, my father. One of the photos that I still have of my Uncle George in my phone is a photo of him just uh, kind of uh, leaning over, uh, sitting right next to the monitors, listening to the song. And when the song was done, when he came up, he was crying. This is one of the strongest men I ever met. I had never seen him cry up until that point. That was heavy, to say the least. Rest in peace to my Uncle George, man. But uh, let's get back into it. Isn't it crazy how once you come home, you're never fully present? It's like a party you trapped in that cell and never left it. Upon your exit, got locked in another cell, it seems. Eternal life in these photos that saw my celly screen. You might have escaped the pain in your worldly limits, but it's ironic we use a cell to capture an image. So we last to our village, every phone that we get pillaged with tangible memories, we can circle back and revisit. The other thing is with the word cell, it's not just cell as in cell phone, but a cell as in a prison. You know, we lock our phones and like these images are, are trapped in our phones, so to speak. So it's just like our way of holding these memories hostage, right? These memories we have of people who we love dearly, who we're scared are going to escape our memory. We're going to lose these memories. They'll fade all of these different things. So we try to um, keep them in ways that we never have to worry about losing them. My gallery is haunted by these ghosts in my cell. They live on in my memories, but it's no sin to them. I'm scared to disappear every time I scream black. I hope they're in the cloud and they repent it for their actions. But I know you're still here. I feel you with me. My cup running over with 
the spirit until it's empty The body is a host and the host is a shell But now you see the glory, I'm in your symphony Shout out to my brother, Micah Blacklight. The thing he pushed me on, he was like, man, all of those things that make the battle rhymes great that you do, I need you to find a way to tap into that more when you write songs like the one y'all are listening to now. So that's why from the concept, making a play on the titles from the anime to this song, and then the lyrics like, my cup runneth over with spirits until it's empty. So the double play on that, of course we think of spirits as in wine and alcohol and things like that. When I worked in education, we talked about filling people's bucket, pouring into them, lifting them up, as opposed to being a person who's constantly taking from their bucket, right? So in this case, I'm talking about my fam who become ancestors, right? And how their spirits now fill me. They live on through me. So my Uncle Joe, we wish you were here. Uh, I see you. We wish you were here. True boy, we trust Jake Della. We wish you were here. To my father, I wish you were him. PH Dex Dream Vice Versus. We wish you were him. Young Gabriel, we wish you were him. Line Man Frankie, my brother Junior, we wish you were him. Too many names, but I wish you were him. So the bridge that we just heard breaks down like different people are lost. I talked about my Uncle George already. I had also lost my Aunt Ocelia, who had passed away less than a year before this song was written. I mentioned True Goy. De La Soul is one of my favorite rap groups, um, probably top three, top five rap groups for me. And they were definitely very influential on me, you know, showing black men in a different light. I didn't always see all sides of me reflected. You know what I mean? There's no one person that I see and be like, they're exactly like me. I just see pieces of myself in other people. And when I saw De La come out, I felt like another part of me that I didn't fully realize wasn't being shown in the music was being you know put on full display but true goy like i felt like he was criminally underrated man and so when he passed um yo that hurt like i cried uh several times like um I, like i don't think of a lot of the different people in hip-hop that passed away that i didn't know I don't, I don't remember crying as much as to when um when dave passed away obviously losing jay dilla and of course you know losing new Jabez, who i knew and worked with um, you know, these things still have profound effect on me. Losing PH, Pumpkinhead, rest in peace uh, to my brother, fellow member of the plague. Um, you know, we were crew. We, uh, we traveled together and stuff, made music together. Vice versus from um, EOW. Salute to my brother's EOW. Vice was the homie. Always showed a ton of love, man. Um, got love and respect wherever he went. So um, and then obviously my other family members. I mentioned some of my younger family members, uh, my great nephew, um, uh, Gabriel who passed on my um, Lalin who was another family member of ours who was a small child who we lost and then I mentioned uh, my brother-in-law Frank Jr. who passed away so yeah man um, you know definitely wanted to honor as many of these folks as possible can't let you go if I wanted to I refuse to release you Can't text or call if I need you But at least I can still see you So many numbers and faces Can't bring myself to embrace them Voids that can't be filled with No perfect fit to replace them We've all been there where our phone starts to run out of space And or you see contacts That you know you don't call anymore And stuff like that So you have those moments where When you're trying to clean up your phone a bit And remove certain things from it You come across um, these people who you've lost, messages from them, pictures of them, uh, their contact information. When I say I can't bring myself to erase them, it feels like an offense. It feels wrong. I mean, I feel bad when I even think about it sometimes, you know what I mean? Even when I know it's backed up somewhere else, I still hesitate to, to remove it from my phone when it's a photo or video, you know what I mean? Just because I want to be able to access it wherever I am. Time has turned your iPhone to a mobile mausoleum Or an Android filled with memories of human beings Like Motoko Kusanagi show was over and I'm sorry Life was the main event, hope we link at the after party There are many lines in this song I'm proud of But time has turned your iPhone to a mobile mausoleum Or an Android filled with memories of human beings Like Motoko Kusanagi So that's the name of the character in Ghost in the Cell, who's an android? Show is over, and I'm sorry. Life is the main event. Hope we meet at the after party. Whether you believe in heaven, hell, or not, to believe something is not to know, right? Like you, you don't, you don't know for sure. Um, that's why you believe. And so, I don't know what's in store for us, right? I love to pretend like 
you know, I'm certain that there's a heaven and hell, but most days I'm not. But that doesn't mean I can't be hopeful. And so I love the idea that these people who we lost, they're never really gone because part of them still lives with us. But my hope is that in some way, shape or form, we reconnect after all of this is said and done. Scroll through pics and video with fam and friends I'll never see again. Music I've been consuming from legends since the age of 10. Songs I did with the... I was about 9 or 10 years old when I first heard De La So it was a nod to True Boy and De La Soul. Homies, this difficult to play again. All of them at their peak before they help begin wavering. Why does the cage burst sink? So we remember them. Scared to death to free them because how else will we revisit them? I think of all of these people I lost and think about these huge huge moments involving them huge moments in their lives that involved me or we you know interacted during these times and remember feeling like they were bigger than life you know before i ever met and worked with pumpkinhead and became friends with them and you know and traveled with them and you know what i mean like drove cross country to scribble jam and riding out to philly and stuff to perform and you know doing african street festival together in brooklyn all of these different experiences i have with them before any of that happened i was a fan of this dude and so i still to this day remember coming off stage uh performing somewhere in manhattan and ph coming to me and he's like your voice is amazing man you're so dope and like, yo, what that felt like to receive that type of validation for someone I had deep respect for as an MC, as a man and a father and everything. I remember these moments like they're very clear to me. So to think of them in those moments and then out of nowhere, all of a sudden they were on their way out. Like, you know, what I mean, that that's the, the trauma associated with that. And of course, it's like it's tenfold for people who are even closer to them than I was. Uh, but yeah, man. Loads of content about you, still hard to be content Wish you were physically here, so this is my lament My gallery is haunted by these ghosts in my cell They live on in my memories, but it's no citadel I'm scared to disappear every time my screen blackens I hope they're in the cloud and they repent it for their actions But I know you're still here, I feel you with me Yeah, man Whew. Um you know, I knew early on that, like, at the end of the song, I wanted to do that. You know what I mean? Uh, give that, like, um, but I know you're still here. I feel you with me. Uh, you know, and I was talking before about, like, uh, with the Rasta man, I was talking about the difference between belief and knowing. Um, so when I, when I say, I know you're still here, I feel you with me. I'm not just talking about their spirit. There's things that I do directly related to experiences I have had with these people. So they are, they're forever with me. You know what I mean? All of them. The body is a host and a host That's is Ghost a in a Cell. Cell. You know? Shout out again to Stephanie Gale for, for just making everything that I, that I've done with her better. Uh, shout out to Malcolm Jackson for doing the exact same thing, man. I hope y'all enjoyed that breakdown. That was not an easy song to make. I'm proud of that entire album. Adult is top to bottom. I feel like it's my best work. Um, but that particular song, man, um, it was the last song that I wrote for Adultish, And it was not an easy song to write. Um, it started out with a different beat before I had ever heard what Jay Electronica did with a similar concept. I had had the beat like a like about six, I don't know how many months out, but I posted it on my Patreon at some point back when I first had the, the idea, the original beat. Again, if you're a Patreon supporter, you can go in there and look through the instrumental section for an instrumental called No Answer. But yeah, man, hope y'all enjoyed that breakdown. Thanks again. Next week, blessing it, we're going to focus mainly on the first verse of the song. And then I'll give you a little bit of the history of how that song came to be and some funny stories around it and all that good stuff. All right, everybody. Y'all take care. Catch you next time. Peace.